Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, which things is essential for started our Laravel project, I have already installed everything. I have installed that Node.js, I have installed that our XAMPP and also run our Apache and the MySQL, right? And then the, uh, that is our PHP version. If you, the, right now I'm using PHP version 7.3.7. .7. And if you want to install, that means if you want to create some of the project with the Laravel, you have to go to that Laravel official website. And then from here right now, we are install. I want to install that Laravel 8. Okay, friend. So that is the latest version. And step by step, everything will be very much clear to you, friend. So don't worry, just stay tuned with me. So that is the installation page and here you can see there is a PHP version which I have already covered. So right now I am using that 7 version. So right now it's perfect. So now we don't need this and that is a install that Node.js. I have already installed it. Also we don't need this. So right now if you want to install it, you can install it via the composer. You can also install it via the installer. And also you can see there is a new version is updated and for the Laravel 8 they have the new feature is available right now so if you want to create some of the locking authentication that means the authentication system right now Laravel actually use it use that JD stream so friend don't worry as I take you you don't have any idea about that Laravel you just want to start it your Laravel carrier step by step everything I will cover and everything will be much clear to you so how can you install the JD stream I, I literally I will also show you so first of all I want to do and to create one of the project so if you want to create one of the project via the composer so that is our composer link okay friend so right now first of all I have to do I have to install that composer so if you want to install that composer like here that is the installation composer if you open it so that is the getcomposer.org. So that is one of the dependency manager. So if you use that Laravel a PHP artisan, some of the command. So every command, everything will be uh, actually included in our this dependency manager as a composer. So I show you. Like first of all, I want to do and to install it. So if you want to install it, there is option for the download. If you click as a download, so that is actually the command line installer. So right now I want to do I want to install it. So before you install it, I want to do and to create one of the project folder like here. As I told you, friend, that is our ST docs and that is our main root directory of our this local server, right? So here I want to do and to create one of the folder. I want to create one of the folder and I name it as a Laravel, Laravel 8. Okay, so that will be as a Laravel 8 one of the folder. So now I want to do I will open it. So here I want to do, I want to install our this Laravel project. So if you want to install that Laravel project, first of all, we have to do, have to do, install our composer. So in particular, that folder area. So I have already created one of the folder as a Laravel and I have created it in our ST docs. That means in our main root directory of our local server. So now here I want to do, I want to open our CMD. If you click as a CMD and automatically it should be getting getting our this link as a XAMPP and the ST docs and that is our folder name, right? So here I want to do, I want to install that composer. So now if you open it, so that is our common line. So right now I copy everything. I copy everything from to this position. I copy it. And now here, here I want to do, I want to paste it. Okay, friends. So now if you click as a enter, so now it will be installed that composer in particular that area here you can see it's now created one of the composer setup dot php and the composer temp dot far and also it's now showing as a unlink that composer setup dot php and also you can see it's automatically re removed so now our composer setup dot php is removed so here we successfully install that our composer so in particular that area i want to do i want to install our laravel Okay, so that means I want to create one of the Laravel projects. So if you want to create it, there is our, um, there is, I told you friend, there is a true process. You can install it by the composer. You can install it by the installer. So I have already installed that composer. If you want to create any project, you can see there is also another command as a via composer create project. So I have already installed that composer. So right now I want to create one of the new project. So if you want to create one of the new projects, so that is actually the command line. I copy it. So that is our appropriate this folder area. I want to create one of the project, right? So you can see that is the, our main, that is our path. So here I want to do, I want to install it. So that is actually composer and the create project and the perfect disk and Laravel and the Laravel that is a blog. 
so that is the part actually of your project name so whatever the project name you want to create you can create it from here so now i want to do i want to create one of the project name and i just name it as a basic okay i want to do and create this type of one of the project folder as a basic that means it should be created one of the project of the laravel uh, in, as a it will be created one of the folder as a basic okay i show you everything step by step will be more clear to you so right now i want to create one of the project name as a basic and after that if you click as a enter so now friend it should be downloaded all that file from to the internet okay and step by step everything uh, will be downloaded and it will be created one of the folder in particular that area as a basic so friend it may take little time so you have to wait for it and also make that sure you are connected with the internet because it will be downloaded all that file from to the internet okay so here you can see it's now created one of the folder as a basic and also is downloaded all that file from to the internet so it may take little time so better when it will be done then i will come back again now here you can see friend we successfully created our laravel fast project so that is our project name i have added as a basic right so now if you open it so that is all that file is now perfectly downloaded on here so that is our app the bootstrap that is a configure the database public the resources so everything is step by step i will show you like here right now if you want to run your project so in our xt docs i have created one of the folder as a laravel 8 and then i have created our project name as a basic right so if you want to access it directly you can also access it like i show you if you now open your local host and with the local host i have created one of the folder as a laravel laravel 8 and then i have created our project name as a basic now if you click as enter now you can see friend it's now redacted to you particular that area and here if you want to access your project so that will be in your public so if you click as a public into the public yes you can see now we are successfully installed that laravel so that is the laravel 8 and you can see it's now showing as a build version as a laravel 8.6.0 so friend that is the actually path so here if you don't want to access this path then you can also run it with using another one of the command as a php artisan serve so i have already installed that composer so with this composer now we can actually access all that our command so here right now that is our laravel so into the laravel i have already created another project name as a basic so here we have to do we have to redact it to our this folder area so if you want to redact it to this folder area you have to do you have to do you have to change this directory right so if you want to change that directory there have another command in the cd that means the change directory and into the cd i want to do and redact it to the basic folder so that is our basic folder now if you click as enter now you can see friend it's now redacted to our this folder to another folder as a basic okay so you can actually redact it to directly on here rather than if you want to direct access with this in like particular this folder area area you have to open this folder and then if you run with again the cmd then you can see it's now perfectly redacted to our this folder so right now it's okay with me so right now i change the directory so now our directory as a our this folder okay that means the basic folder so now here i want to do i want to run another command as a php artisan php artisan serve so if you run with the php artisan serve then it should be provided one of the server link i show you like if you click as a enter now you can see it's now provided one of the server links so that is that server link so if you run this server link automatically it should be directed to our this basic public folder i show you right now i copy it okay i copy that server port and now if you open it and that is our server port if you now click as enter yes you can see it's now perfectly run our new project so that is actually our direct line link and also if you want to access it with our this server link you can access it so that is also in our in our this laravel here you can see that is actually the php artisan serve so when you run this php artisan serve that is our development one of the server and that is actually the our server address now right so right now we are using this server port so that is our server port so friend right now i hope it's very much clear to you how to install that laravel how can create one of the project with this laravel so right now we are using laravel latest version as a laravel 8 so now i want to do i want to take our this project to our um, that is our editor so right now i want to use that visual code editor so when you install it after that there is a file option now go open it with the open folder and now i want to do i want to go to our c drive 
into the C drive. So that is our XAMPP and that is our ST docs and here I have created one of the project so that is our Laravel 8 and that is our basic folder right so now I select this folder and now click as a select folder so now here you can see friend now our all that file is now successfully loaded so that means whatever the things in our this particular folder area everything is now loaded in our this editor okay so friend I hope it's very much clear to you how you can create one of the project with the Laravel so in our next video, I want to discuss about all that file structure, which things is very much important. So step by step, I will show you that things with a live example. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.